So we finally got it. Version 21 for the Meta Display Glasses. Now on paper, this is the update that's supposed to change everything. But after testing it all day, the handwriting, this feels like sci-fi magic when it actually works. And as far as the teleprompter, well, for me, it's completely ghosting the Meta AI app. If you're excited about version 21, you need to see this. So here's how the update reads. Handwriting using the neural band. If you have joined the early access program, you can now send messages on your Meta Ray-Ban display glasses using handwriting with your Meta Neural Band. Write messages to others with your index finger with the option to choose from suggested responses based on your conversation. Available in English for WhatsApp and Messenger users in the U.S. Update your Meta Ray-Ban display glasses and Meta Neural Band to get started. Go to device settings and sign up for early access. Then there's teleprompter. From delivering main stage keynotes to facilitating intimate fireside chats, teleprompter puts your notes where you need them most, right in your glasses, so you can focus on landing the big moment. And then finally, the WhatsApp update. You can now see up to 30 WhatsApp message threads in your Meta Ray-Ban display. So they said these updates are gonna start rolling out this week. And to get started, you need to first download the update that appears in your Meta AI app. There's gonna be two separate downloads, one for the neural band and then one for the glasses. Once you have the updates downloaded and installed, you'll then need to go into early access in the device settings and turn on handwriting. You'll be prompted to go through a tutorial where you can practice your handwriting skills. And if it's anything like mine, you're gonna learn really quickly that you need to do the letters correctly because man, I was only hitting maybe 70% of the letters correctly that I was typing. You then wanna check in your Meta AI app and see if there's a teleprompter area inside the app on your phone. Now, it doesn't appear in mine, but if I say, hey Meta, start teleprompter, the teleprompter will actually appear on my display. However, there's no way for me to enter the text into the teleprompter because for whatever reason in my app on my phone, it just doesn't have any update that says teleprompter in there even though everything else is updated to version 21. And a lot of people on Reddit claim it works. And I'm calling on you guys. Pause the video now and comment down below. Do you have the text input field in your app? Because it just totally seems like it's ghosting my app. After downloading everything, I can get the Meta AI to pull it up, but there's just nothing in my app for the teleprompter where it's supposed to be. Now. I'm starting to think that this rollout <laughs> might be a bit buggier than what they're admitting. And maybe I'll get another update here soon that's going to fix it. But in the meantime, I just don't have it. And as far as the handwriting goes, this is a really super cool feature. And I've thoroughly enjoyed using it when it understands the letters that I'm trying to type. So first, I'm demonstrating here in this video using big letters where I'm really moving my hand and I'm accentuating each letter. And as you can see, it's able to spell out good morning for me. After that, I tried it where I'm writing in a really small area so that it's going to be more discreet, kind of like I would want to do if I were in the office and I didn't want somebody to know that I was texting. <laughs> It ends up with good monitor instead of good morning. And if you watch it slowly, the only reason it came that close was because it corrected it using the spell check feature, but it was completely off. And this is the reality of version 21 right now. It's not really just, you know, learning curves, getting to use it. There's a lot of actual friction trying to get this to work correctly. I... If I have to wave my arm like I'm flagging down a taxi just to do the letter T, 
I mean, is it really discreet, you know? <laughs> Even with it not getting all the letters, though, it's been really fun messing with it, and it's really, it feels like you're in a sci-fi movie. I've never had anything where I'm able to do something like this, so I think this is going to be definitely one of the more exciting features for the Meta Glasses, and one of my favorite things about the display glasses is I don't have to rely on audio so when I get a text message, it's not blasting in my ear and the people, if I'm in a quiet room, the people around me aren't hearing that I'm getting a text message. Um, it's just, I, I want the ability to see the message and then be able to reply to the message with handwriting so that it keeps it as discreet as possible and I don't have to talk to the glasses out loud. So... Then I tested the WhatsApp messages and it gave me, instead of 30, I got about the most recent dozen messages that I sent to a specific contact. And unfortunately, it only gives me the last three people to choose from that I've messaged with. And that's, in my opinion, a massive design flaw. So if I want to message my mom, who maybe I haven't texted in two days, I still have to pull out my phone, which defeats the entire purpose of the hands-free glasses. Meta, we need a scrollable contact list like every other messaging app out there. And this is your own messaging system that it's happening with. It's with WhatsApp and Instagram. And another note, you're going to have to reconnect your WhatsApp application to the glasses. So mine was already connected before this, but it made me actually reconnect it in order for the new features to show up and work. And I got to say, my biggest frustration with the display glasses is the lack of features. And this update really, really is starting to show that they're trying to fix that. There are times I have to give presentations for work, and I think it'd be really interesting to see how well a teleprompter would work with that. And also doing these videos, I could see how using an In My Glasses teleprompter could really be beneficial. Once it starts working in my app, I'll have to test it out by doing a video and see if I look all cross-eyed and funny because the display is only in one lens. So I really want to take a moment and I want to thank everybody for watching and I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to keep up with all the smart glasses news and augmented reality awesomeness that's headed our way, please like and subscribe. And with that, I hope everybody really enjoys their day today and I'll see you in the next one.